Uh, hi everybody, this is Al Qasim El Mazrui, and uh, today I'm gonna be making instructional video. I'm gonna show you how to jump start your car properly. So, you, actually, most of the time, sometimes it could happen your battery could go dead when you leave your lights on. So, when this happens, you'll just need to reboost your battery. So, I'm gonna show you how to reboost it properly. And you could do this either in two ways. One way by bringing another car which have a proper functional battery. And you could use that battery to jump or you could use uh, this device is portable battery. It's called jump starter. You could use it to support your battery. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use it. Okay. Before you start doing anything, first you wanna figure out which one is your positive, which one is your negative on both sides one you want to know you want to figure out on the battery and then you want to figure it on your jump starter so usually the one which is level with red is positive which is supplying power and the one which is in black is negative which is uh, neutral so same here on the battery the one which is labeled red it's a uh, power positive and the one which is labeled black as you can see here it is a negative which is neutral so you want to make sure first thing before you connect anything you want to make sure you attach your red on the battery before you put neutral okay. so the next thing we want to check on our device if it's well charged and then if it can support our battery so when you turn this on you want to make sure your positive and negative they're not touching each other and then once you turn this on you press there's a button called battery starters and then it can show you how high your battery is charged and that we could use it and we can see it's charged so we can use to boost our battery so now i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and show you how you connect you're gonna start by connecting the negative code first i know i mean you're gonna connect the positive code which is power first And then you're gonna attach your negative and then you're gonna turn on your device you have to make sure your keys are removed on your ignition and you will be ready to go now so let's go and start our car and see so once you have your connection successfully and then you're ready to turn on your car. Let's see how our car is gonna respond. So as you can see, we have succeeded on our mission and we're ready to remove our wire. So we're gonna start by removing the negative and then we're gonna remove the positive to avoid any kind of spark on this condition. Right, thank you.